speaking for the grotesques, I'd have to disagree. Death is so final, whereas life, ah, life is full of possibilities. I hope the boy does wake. I'd be very interested to hear what he has to say. My dear brother, there are times you make me wonder whose side you're on. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 prediction video. Today, I want to talk about our favorite imp, Tyrion of House Lannister. Most of you should know that I have been making a ton of predictions about how I think Game of Thrones will end. I have talked about a number of different scenarios I can see playing out, but I haven't really talked about what I think Tyrion can do yet. Tyrion is one of the main characters in this show, so he should definitely have a big role to play in the final season. Now that the Night King is south of the Wall, they will need all the help they can get in order to survive. We have seen Tyrion fight in a war during the Battle of Blackwater Bay, but I don't think we will be seeing him on the battlefield during this one, because there is something else I believe Tyrion can do to help. I think they will find a way to defeat the Night King, and I believe Tyrion will assist them with this major discovery. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you would know that I believe Sam and Bran will continue to work together in order to find out something about stopping the Night King and his army. Thanks to Samuel Tarly, he's the one that told Bran about Rhaegar and Lyanna's secret wedding. And that's how Bran knew where to look to find out the truth about Jon's parents. And I believe their teamwork will continue because together they can figure out how to beat the Night King. Sam can continue to read his books that he took from the Citadel. And when he finds out some important information about the Night King, he can tell Bran. And Bran can look and see how it was done before. But I think Tyrion can help also. The main reason why I think this is because of a few things that happened during the very first season of this show. Everything that happened with Tyrion back then is about to come full circle in the final season. Tyrion Lannister and Bran Stark's storylines were heavily intertwined in the first season. After Bran Stark was pushed from the tower, Tyrion was very interested in what actually happened because he knew it wasn't an accident. Tyrion was also hoping that Bran would live, and he wanted to make sure some compassion was shown to the Starks because of this tragic thing that happened to their son. And that was, of course, when we got that great scene when Tyrion slapped the shit out of Joffrey because Tyrion wanted him to go pay his respects. Your absence has already been noted. The boy means nothing to me. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. One word and I hit you again. I'm telling mother. Go. Tell her. In the next episode, that's when we see Tyrion traveling to the Wall with Jon Snow. And that's where they started to bond. All of these building blocks were being put together very early on, and this is very important because all of this led to them working together today. After Tyrion left the Wall, he went back to Winterfell, and this is when we learned that Tyrion had a soft spot for cripples, bastards, and broken things. Will I really be able to ride? You will. On horseback, you'll be as tall as any of them. Is this some kind of trick? Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart for cripples, bastards, and broken things. You've done my brother a kindness. Although the Starks and the Lannisters hated each other, Tyrion did like Bran and Jon. He saw things in both of them that he saw in himself. Jon was a bastard and Bran was a cripple, and he knew people would treat them just like people treated him. And this is why Tyrion took a liking to them. And this is very important because Jon never forgot that, and neither will Bran. The crazy thing is, Tyrion almost died because of Bran. Lady Catelyn accused Tyrion of hiring the Cat's Ball to kill Bran, and Tyrion was very close to getting thrown out of the moon door because of this. But I don't think I need to give a bunch of examples for you to see that Tyrion's entire plot in Season 1 revolved around Bran Stark and Jon Snow. I think this is very interesting because now that we are heading into the final season, we will see this happen again. Tyrion's early ties to Bran Stark in the first season will come into play next season. Tyrion will see Bran and Sam together and he's going to want to help because Tyrion knows he is much more effective with a book in his hand instead of a sword in his hand. Tyrion said as much to Jon in the first season when they were traveling to the Wall together. Why'd you read so much? Look at me and tell me what you see. Is this a trick? Well, my brother has his sword, and I have my mind, and a mind needs books like a sword needs a whetstone. That's why I read so much Jon Snow. 
Tyrion is one of the most intelligent characters in the show, and if there is anything that can be found in those books Sam has, then Tyrion can help them find it. I believe they will find the secret to defeating the Night King because of something Sam said last season. Now some people may have missed this because most of the people were focusing on something else during this conversation. Right before Sam left the Citadel, this was when Gilly told him about Rhaegar's annulment, but that wasn't the only important thing said during that scene. They set me to the task of preserving that man's wind accounting and annulments and bowel movements for all eternity, while the secret to defeating the Night King is probably sitting on some dusty shelf somewhere, completely ignored. Oh, but that's all right, isn't it? We can all become slavering, murderous imbeciles in thrall to evil incarnate, as long as we can have access to the full records of High Septon Maynard's 15,782 shits. Did you hear what Sam said? He said the secret to defeating the Night King is probably just sitting around on some dusty shelf, somewhere being completely ignored. I think this was one of the most important scenes of foreshadowing because in the very next scene, Sam goes into the library and takes all kinds of old books off of those dusty shelves. Then he left and went straight to Winterfell. Next season, we are going to learn exactly what is in those books. And Sam isn't the only one who is book savvy. Tyrion is as well. And we've been told this since the very first season. This was a big part of who Tyrion was as a character. When Tyrion arrives in Winterfell at the very beginning of this show and at the very beginning of the books, one of the first things he does is go to their library to read and check out books. And now it's finally time for Tyrion to start putting all of this knowledge he has to use. Tyrion took a lot of losses last season. All of his plans went completely to shit. Tyrion was being outmaneuvered at every turn and it got to the point to where Daenerys stopped taking his advice. So Tyrion needs to redeem himself. If you die, we're all lost. Everyone, everything. You told me to do nothing before and I listened to you. I'm not doing nothing again. Once again, he needs to show everyone how useful he still is. He might not be able to slay the Night King on the battlefield, but he can help figure out a way to defeat him. And I think this will be his purpose during the Great War. We know Sam and Bran will continue to work together, but I think Tyrion will join them. When he sees Sam with all of the old books from the Citadel, he's not going to be able to help himself. People used to think Tyrion was going to be one of the three heads of the dragon, but now that Viserion is dead and being ridden by the Night King, that theory is out the window. But that doesn't mean he still can't step up and do something big. But let me know what you think. What do you believe Tyrion will be doing during the Great War? Will he be out there on the battlefield? Or will he help Sam and Bran find a way to stop the Night King? Put all your thoughts and questions down below in the comment section. I want to thank everyone for stopping by to watch the video. I really appreciate that. And I also want to thank all of my new Patreon supporters. I can't thank you all enough for your contributions over the months. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Bye.